morning, uh, February 10th already, and today we're moving some heifers back and forth. Um, first thing we gotta do is get a list of who's moving where. So we got them locked up here after uh, we fed them, so that'll make it a little easier to sort, and then we'll go ahead and mark them. This is how the locks work, I'll show you real quick. So like this and the cow comes in through the top and then as she goes down to eat she'll push on this bar which will latch her in like that makes cow handling a lot easier less stress on the animals And then we got to mark some that go from pen four to pen five. And then we'll end up moving some from pen three over to pen four. Keep them in separate groups because different ages and different sizes, we don't want them to have to compete with uh, bigger cows. So that way they all get an equal opportunity. We'll get them sorted to the back side here and then we'll back up to this door and we'll load them right up. Yep. Now that we got the long haul behind us, we just got to move them from pen four to five. All right. Five, six, and six. Oh, girl right next to her, 608. Rain and ice. Oh, too far. Like a glove.
first one. Down. There we go. Should be. Gotta be sneaky so they can't see you. new friends we have them all written down here and uh, we'll change them in the computer to the pen that they just went into that way we can always keep track of where they are Today's February 15th and it's about 10 30 at night and tonight we're doing the uh, evening round generally my dad does the late evening uh, last round before we go to bed and pretty much just come to the barn and make sure everything is uh, the way it ought to be. We'll look in there and make sure that not too much ice build up on the robots. We'll end up needing some additional heat in them robot rooms. There's floor in the floor uh, but that, when it gets too cold it can't keep up and what will happen is the ropes underneath where the cups are attached to they'll freeze and then they'll end up pulling off um, now to put extra heat in there uh, we generally use a salamander type of heater um, biggest problem with them is they make quite a bit of noise so if we put them in the robot room and the cows ain't used to that um, We'll have a pretty big drop in visits because there's something going on there that they're not used to generally. This, we got this, this pipe that runs underground to our robot rooms over there. And we can suck, suck the warm air out of this building and send that over to the robot rooms. And then that way we got warmer air over there but we don't have the noise and uh, light to scare the cows out of there. Well, all looks good. No ice on the robots. Uh, we'll go check on the young stock here. Got some snow coming into the building. Snowing outside pretty bad. And the wind's blowing good too. And it's coming out of the north. And generally we have a uh, open peak or an overshoot, but we actually got a curtain that we can close. And uh, if we wanted to close that curtain, all, the, all these stalls would have been covered in snow a lot worse than what they are now.
Oh, everybody looks pretty cozy in here. Well, now all we got to do is push the feed up and then we'll be good till tomorrow morning. big drifts. I'm supposed to have the milk picked up today. Um, I'm not sure if they're gonna get to my driveway but by golly if they do I won't be the weakest link so we'll probably start with plowing that and then uh, anybody that does make it to the driveway can make it to the barn.